Hello everyone. So we are making our last video of Ina Garten recipes. So this is video six of six and we are going to be making creme brulee. Uh, let me show you the recipe. This is her recipe. If I can find it, I'll link it. I'm, I love creme brulee. It's one of my favorite desserts. I really wanted to try this one. Um, I have made creme brulee many times. Um, I have a favorite recipe, so I really wanted to try hers. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so I just have my pan heating up here. We have to start with two cups, no, pardon me, three cups of heavy cream. I have two of these open. I thought I only had one open, but no, somehow I opened two of them at the same time which is okay, we're gonna fix that in a sec here. So we're supposed to warm the heavy cream so it's hot to the touch, but don't boil it. Oh, that was almost exact. So that's three cups of heavy cream and we're just gonna let this sit here. I'm actually gonna put this on medium so it doesn't burn. And we're gonna sit here and let this uh, heat up. While we're letting this heat up, let's go mix the eggs. Okay, so we need to mix um, four large egg yolks and one large egg with half a cup of sugar plus one tablespoon. One sec, I gotta get the eggs. I forgot to grab the eggs. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot to mention, but we're making the uh, recipe out of this cookbook again. This cookbook actually has quite a few really good recipes. Okay, so let's do half a cup of sugar plus one tablespoon. And then we'll separate the eggs. So let's put the whole egg in. There's one whole egg and four egg yolks. So I'm just going to separate the yolk from the egg here. Almost lost the yolk. Two. Oh, I just will put that right in. Habit. I was going to make uh, her summer pudding, but I decided against it just because um, mainly my family's preferences. I didn't think that my children would eat it. So I decided to make something I knew that they would eat. This. Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay, the milk's almost perfect. Okay. So now we're supposed to mix this together. with a mixer. Normally when I've ever made this, I've only just used a, a fork or a spoon, but with a mixer, she says. Okay, now we need to add the milk mixture to the eggs. We have to do it slowly so we can temper the eggs. So let's get the milk. It's nice and hot, but not boiling. So I'm gonna do this this way. Actually, no, we're gonna pour it in. 
we're going to do a little bit at a time to temper the eggs. If you do it too fast, your eggs will cook and you'll have scrambled eggs. You have to acclimate the eggs to the warm milk, to the hot milk. This is a very, very important step. So you're just doing it nice and slow. Like this till it's acclimated. Like that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So there is one thing in her recipe that she doesn't do that I do do when I make creme, oop, creme brulee. I'm gonna pour the rest in. I think it's acclimated enough now. And we're about to do that step here. Let me just wipe up my mess here. Okay, so let's add the seasonings in after we strain it. So I like to strain the mixture. You don't always get anything out of it, but it makes a creamier, smoother um, texture to the creme brulee. Okay, so let's strain it into this other bowl. Like I said, this isn't in her recipe, but this is something that I highly recommend when making creme brulee. And I just put it through my sieve. And you're going to see why in a second here. So you see all those egg bits? That would have been in your custard. And you don't want that. So this is our finished product here. We just need to add some seasonings. So in her recipe, she has one tablespoon of Grand Marnier. right in and one teaspoon of vanilla okay and we're just going to mix this in and then we're going to start pouring this into the ramekins so I have these ramekins I actually, I actually bought these at a garage sale this last, last year here, and um, I was absolutely in love with them. So we are going to use them for the first time. So hopefully this will make enough for all of this. If not, that's perfectly okay. So I'm going to try and do this evenly here somewhat. Um, I have my oven preheating right now to 300 degrees and in her recipe she says to cook them for 35 to 40 minutes. Whenever I've made creme brulee it's usually 350 but we're following her recipe here. This smells really good. Okay, now I just need to get some boiling water and we'll put this into the baking dish. I'm just going to use my turkey roaster here. And we're just going to put those in, in the roaster here. You can cover these with tin foil around them, but it's not necessary. My oven's preheated and then you're going to need to take hot water and pour it in until it's about halfway up your ramekins. This helps it bake nice and evenly and helps the custard set. Oh, let me get more water. Try to do this slowly so it doesn't get into the creme brulee. <laughs> 
Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm just going to put these in the oven and bake them for 35 to 40 minutes at 300 degrees. Trying not to spill the water everywhere. <laughs> There we go. So once these are done and baked, I'll show you uh, what they look like coming out of the oven. Okay, so I just took them out of the oven. Let me show you here. They got like a slight jiggle to them still. So now I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator until they're um, set, and then we will do the topping, the sugar topping on top. Okay, so the they're nice and set so let's do the sugar topping on top we're going to pour some sugar on top and then we're going to heat it up with the blow torch well kitchen torch so we need about roughly a tablespoon maybe a little bit more you just want to sprinkle it evenly onto the dessert. Oh, that one was probably a little too much, but we'll just spread it out. Okay, let me see if I remember how to start my torch here. Oh, wait. There we go. So you don't want to stay in one spot too long, otherwise it will burn. So make sure you roam around really really well so you don't burn the sugar. It will get like a golden brown color, that's what we want. The sugar is going to bubble and then it usually turns a brown color. You might need to add a little bit more sugar in certain spots. just going over the sugar it melts it and then it uh, browns it and as it sets it crystallizes and it gives a nice crunch on top of the dessert So I'm going to do the other three off camera and then I'll show you what they look like at the end and we'll do a taste test. Okay, so I just finished caramelizing the tops with the sugar and, the, and my kitchen torch here. So let's, this is what it looks like. Nice little crust on them. So now let's give one a taste. So as I was saying, creme brulee is actually one of my favorite desserts. You hear the crack? That's from the sugar. I have never had one with Grand Marnier in it though, so we're about to find out. It tastes pretty good. I don't really taste the Grand Marnier very much actually. 
I expected it tastes more and I can't really taste it. Tastes delicious though. It's really nice and creamy. I'm happy we strained this. It was really good. Really good choice. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's a little bit lighter texture than the recipe that I make, but it's really good. Mm-hmm. So everyone, this is the end of our Ina Garten series and trying her recipes. And I think overall it went pretty decently. Um, there are a few that I am definitely going to make again and a few that I might tweak a little bit. But um, overall it was a good, ex a good experience and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.